wouldn't say I have a favorite material. I have a favorite color, which is black. <laughs> but the uh, thing with materials is like you, you use what you need to get what you want. So and there's materials perhaps that I don't know how they would sort of function within what I do. But sometimes something you don't expect presents itself. But yeah, I mean, the materials are kind of a means to an end, as well as being something in themselves. They have to kind of do what you want them to do. So I like quite a, sort of a smooth surface, but the one that still has a sense of the hand in it, though, a sort of sense of touch. And so it takes it away from a kind of industrial look, but yet it still has the sort of industrial, sort of machine rolled form. For certain works, like works with the black perspex and things, and, and uh, works like Riches, I suppose, there is a sense that they kind of are almost untouched, that they sort of have sort of sprung kind of fully formed. I mean, the reality is obviously all, everything we think that has sprung fully formed is fabricated. But there's a sense of a kind of lack of touch. There's a sense of a sort of pristineness or a perfectness, a sort of almost otherworldliness to that kind of surface. And, for me, in certain works, it's really important that's there, but then other works should be sort of full of touch so that there's a complete sort of um, sense of the hand within them. For me, I'm interested in those works being together so that there's, a, again, a kind of a tension between the sort of the touched and the untouched. Those questions of its materiality should sort of lead to a kind of an intense looking where sort of an exchange takes place. Rather than a sort of passive looking, there's a sense of search and a sense of kind of demand from the eye in terms of what the sculpture might give it and what it might give to the sculpture. You can't have the same relationship to the object as the viewer because you can't view it for the first time. So you can never discover it in the same way as somebody who hasn't been involved in the making. <laughs>